Okay, this video is for a Toshiba. It's a satellite A215 S4807. This has the BIOS password on the, the uh, when you first power it up. On this particular model, the way to correct this is by um, shorting a ground to one of the circuits on the board. Now, one of the most common causes for this, which is just rumor, which I find to be true, um, this is not towards anyone, this is not against Toshiba, um, but this is something that it has been rumored that the BIOS password lock is when there's a BIOS or a uh, motherboard failure, such as a GPU failure um, or something else, and what it does is it locks the motherboard so that it gets sent into Toshiba so they can do the correct repairs. Um, this is unofficial of course. Um, but it is a repair that um, it's a way for Toshiba to get their boards in without people knowing what happened to them. That's why they will not release any kind of master BIOS password. Now to reset it, you're going to remove the cover for the memory. Remove the memory itself. And then just underneath, there's going to be, let's see if I can get this down right where it needs to be. So right next to these pads, to make sure you stay in focus there so you get a good look. Right next to these pads, there's going to be... It's really small. It's going to be right here. Now the side that you're going to want to look at is a side that's shaped like a horseshoe. It's a U shape. You're going to short that out. In order and the way to do that, the best way to do it is to jump from a ground. The best ground to use is going to be the ground right here where the um, memory mounts to. And you're just going to short that horseshoe piece. Now, you can use anything. I use a Cat5 or Cat6 cable. It's one of the wires. You just want to short out just that, just the horseshoe part. I'll replace the RAM. And as you can see, we're back in business. Obviously, the operating system needs to be repaired on this one, but we're past the BIOS lock. Everything is, everything is. 